Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we have another humble bundle of interest to game developers, or more specifically developers in general. This one is aimed at web and iPhone mobile apps, but there are definitely a couple of buzzword or catchphrase technologies in here, and things that actually I had a hole in my own library, so picking this one up was a no-brainer for me. But let's go check out what we are getting in this humble bundle. Now if you don't know how this works, basically it's a collection of stuff organized into tiers. Uh, you buy a high dollar value tier, you get all the tiers below, you can decide how your money is allocated between charity, humble, the publisher, and if you so choose and thanks so much to you to support game from scratch. So let's go take a look at this particular bundle. Now at the $1 tier, uh, you are getting these four books. Ebooks, obviously. I buy this bundle, so I'll let you know what you get in terms of formats, etc. And there is one point of real confusion with this bundle. And also, this is a four-tier bundle. Bund Humble is really mixing things up with how they work. Normally, they're three tiers only, uh, but this one's four. So at the $1 tier, you're getting Hello HTML5 and CSS3, Website Owner Manual, Hello Swift, and Irresistible APIs designing web APIs that de developers will love. Uh, not the greatest $1 tier. Introductory books to HTML5, CSS, web development, and Swift development, but let's go up to the uh, nine item bundle. So obviously you're going to see all of the same books. And then on top of that, we're getting RX Java for Android developers. Anyone can create an app, beginning iPhone and iPad development. Uh, Arduino in action, Electron in action, and Aurelia in action. Again, not the greatest tier there. You're looking at 860 Canadian. It's probably about seven bucks US there. Uh, that first one again was a dollar tier. And now we're going to go up to the $14 tier. Here you're getting iOS development with Swift, uh, building the web of things, React quickly, Angular in actions, web components in actions, and then all of the other books we talked about before. Now this tier is definitely uh, stepping it up a notch. We're looking at $17 American, uh, $17 Canadian, so probably $15 US for those 14 items. Here you're looking iOS with Swift, and then you're getting into React. And React and Angular are two web uh, frameworks that I've definitely been interested in learning more about. Uh, so those are starting to get of interest to me, but it's when you get to the entire 22 item bundle that it starts to have the books I'm most interested in, specifically Flutter. Now, if you don't know, I actually already did a video on Flutter and Flame. Flutter is a cross-platform uh, project by uh, Google that tries to give you native quality support. Uh, it, it locally compiles down to uh, their own runtime and the Skia C++ based library. So it should be fast and performant. So I've been interested in learning more about Flutter. So the Flutter book is personally of interest to me. Then we've got Web Design Playground, Design for the Mind, JavaScript on things, hacking hardware for web developers, uh, the design of web APIs, uh, React Native in action, HTTP slash two in action, CSS in depth, I hate CSS with the passion of a thousand tons. I just, I, it just, it's my nemesis, I guess you could say. So maybe having a book on hand is useful for me. And then I think we're in the repeats. Uh, so, yep, that is the bundle. Again, uh, the top tier here is $23 Canadian, so 20 bucks US. Uh, you are getting 22 books. Now, as I mentioned, I always buy these things to let you know what you're going to get. And the interesting thing is here, for the $19 plus dollar content, you get a key. What's the key for? No idea. If I click it, it does nothing. Uh, obviously, I, I obfuscated what my key is. You click there, you can redeem it, and you get a key for... <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, and I've gone through the description here. Uh, everything here, it doesn't say uh, anything about an unlock for a key. Uh, I, I honestly, I have no idea what that product key is for. If you figured that little mystery out, let me know. Because, again, I, I have no idea. I'm just going to... Uh, using my 90210, obviously not my key keys for, I don't know, random passwords for the rest of the day. Uh, and you see here, in terms of uh, formats, you're getting every book here in PDF, EPUB, and Mobi format. That covers off your major e-readers. Uh, you can uh, send them over to your Kindle device. You can email them over. Kindle gives you a custom email address. You can send it across. Of course, you can upload it locally. And the nice thing about Humble Bundle is they have... Um, a pretty responsive website, so you can leave things here forever uh, and basically download them as you need them. The Flutter book I was interested in, it's 14 megabyte download, and there it is, it's done. So their servers are decently fast. Here, by the way, is that book. Uh, Manning Press generally tend to be pretty good books. Um, so this one, if you're interested in web or iOS or mobile development, it could be an interesting one for you. Again, the things I find personally the most, most interesting here are Flutter and React. Those are two um, kind of taking web technologies onto the desktop kind of approaches to things. And I don't really have experience with either one. So if you're looking to make cross-platform mobile applications, Flutter and React are definitely interesting. As I mentioned, Flutter has a game engine called Flame. I already did a video on. So if you're interested in learning more about that, I have done a video there uh, about the Flame game engine. 
Uh, Flutter is one of those ones I'm definitely interested in learning a bit more about. The rest of this stuff is generalized design stuff. Probably nothing I'll ever read about, uh, unless for some reason I want to torture myself with a little bit of CSS work. I have done some work in the past in Swift. I actually did a tutorial series on Swift when it was first released. I'm a big fan of the language, other than the fact that it's Apple only. Basically, Apple invented hacks. It's a lot like hacks. It feels a lot like hacks. And I like hacks. So Swift is a nice language to work with, especially when you compare it to like iOS, uh, the iOS standard of Objective-C, in which I would almost rather do PHP programming than uh, Objective-C. I know some people absolutely love that language. For me, it never clicked. So Swift's a decent little language, but I'm never going to work in it because I'm not going to work in a programming language that's championed by Apple, uh, especially as primarily a Windows developer. But uh, yeah, that is it. That is the Web and iPhone Mobile Apps by Manning Press Bundle. Uh, if you ever do figure out what that key is for, uh, <laughs> I'd love to know. Uh, so the 19 plus content comes with a key for, I don't know. If you figure it out, let me know. Comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.